what's up guys how's it going hey uh, just over here at the hangar getting ready to go flying a little bit and um, been working on a uh, little project here I'll show you I've extended the flaps um, inboard toward the fuselage and then then trimmed them out with some pieces to clean up the back side of uh, the wing root there and kind of make it all flow nice and I've got some pieces underneath um, I don't know how well you can see that right now, but and it basically follows the shape of the wing and then the shape, kind of the similar shape of the uh, uh, gap seal there. And uh, to where as the flap comes down, it actually moves away from that seal and opens up a little air gap. So I tried to maintain that when I did it. Today I'm going to climb up high and do a bunch of stall testing, which will be nice anyway because it is super hot out here today. I guess summer's finally here. Some guys claim that when they when they trimmed out this uh, uh, you know trimmed out this area here and cleaned this up and kind of brought all this together that they actually picked up a little speed and climb. So you know that'd be great. I'm not going to hold my breath, but um, it worked darn well before. And uh, like I say, the main thing is let's just make sure I don't screw up a uh, airplane that already flies really well. So I sat down to start editing this video and then realized that my camera that sits behind me that records audio for some reason didn't pick up any audio. So it's kind of a bummer because I was doing a lot of talking during the testing, but I'll just do my best to do some voiceover uh, in the video. So I climbed up high to go ahead and test the stall characteristics, both with the flaps up and down. And what I found is that, uh, you know, it's just as docile as ever. You can get it to uh, break, as you see here in the video. If you pull the nose up pretty darn high, you can get the break out of it. But if you don't pull it up high enough, you just ride the buffet down and it never really fully stalls, I guess, depending on how you want to look at that. So it also doesn't have a tendency to drop one wing over the other. So I consider it to be, you know, pretty easy to deal with. Anyway, as far as numbers, um, you know, I saw I saw a little bit lower numbers than I've than I've ever seen before in my digital airspeed, and um, so that's a good sign. You know, both uh, power off and with a little bit of power on landing, the numbers came down. Um, so it it feels good. It seems like it did make a little difference. Can't tell on speed. Haven't been able to test it very well. It was windy enough that day. I just couldn't get a good reading on speed. I don't think that I gained anything on the top of the envelope yet, but we'll see as time goes on. But mainly. You know, it still flies great, didn't change anything that way, and that was, of course, um, what I was concerned about. So it's good to see that. All right, guys, thanks for joining uh, and watching the video. You know, the flaps um, are, are working well. The modifications seem to have brought down the uh, lower end of the speed envelope just a little bit. Um, like that one landing where I left a little power in, I saw some really low numbers. And also in the power off stalls, seemed to see some numbers slightly lower. So that's cool. Seemed like it helped there. All right, so the next video you guys see should be a video of Idaho. I'm getting ready to go up there. going to spend six, seven days up there and um, really just try to capture the awesomeness uh, of Idaho, which is which is very challenging to do. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an amazing place, and I don't want to, you know, come up short. So I'm going to do my best to... Um, make a better video this year with my new equipment and new cameras. And, you know, it kind of got me thinking about something, you know. Um, I was thinking about this the other day, not to go off on a whole other tangent here, but, you know, why is it that people, uh, you know, guys like me, you know, make videos, um, 
obviously, you know, my focus is, is the flying and a little bit of photography stuff, but you know, why, why, why go to the trouble of producing these videos? You know, it's a lot of work and it, it, it takes a lot of effort and there's a lot of money and gear cameras and editing computers. I just, I built this new editing computer not too long ago, uh, so that I can crunch the 4k 60 footage and you know, it's just a lot of stuff. Why bother? And I, I, I was thinking about it, and I'm like, well, there's a lot of reasons. You know, of course, the, the little stuff, you know, yeah, it, it is a fun challenge trying to capture a shot, you know, set up cameras and, and go out and capture some really good shot and then edit it and try to, you know, properly present it is, is very challenging, and, and uh, but also rewarding, like a lot of challenges. Um, you know, I think people like me that do this kind of stuff, we do like to show off a little bit. I think that's just being honest. Um, it is fun to show off a little bit. But it's not the main focus, you know, and, and I think the, the main focus of, of what this is all about is um, when you're a part of something that's super awesome, you want to share it with people. And it's not just a part of it like, oh, look at me, look what I'm doing, it's so awesome, I'm so amazing. I mean, when you're a part of something where you're actually kind of standing back going, wow, this is such a cool thing that I get to be a part of, how lucky am I, I'm, this is very... This is so awesome. And flying, you know, is, is such a fantastic world of, of all different kinds of things, of challenges. Uh, it's rewarding. It can be terrifying. It can be relaxing. It can be exciting. You know, it, it just kind of covers all those bases and, and has a lot of neat things all together. So when you're part of something that's that awesome, I think there's a drive, at least for me and probably a lot of other guys that are, you know, doing this kind of stuff, um, there, there's a drive to to share that with other people. You know, the flying world especially, not a lot of people really know what goes on and how awesome it really is, I don't, I, I think. And so, I think there's just a drive to to do your best to bring that content to people who um, who maybe don't get to enjoy it so that they can enjoy at least, at least a, a piece of it. Anyway, I'll stop rambling there and uh, you guys take care and we'll see you when I get back from Idaho. Every time I go to record in here, she gets super interested. I don't know what it is, but you it's just the funniest thing. When I start talking to the an inanimate object, she can't figure it out. Come here.